Hello everybody, my name is Shiji and welcome to Derailed. Now originally we had a more structured um, view of this segment of our channel but because we were too lazy and we kind of wanted to focus our attention to other parts of the channel we kind of scrapped it but kind of kept it here at the same time so I'm gonna kind of revive it a little bit in some way which is uh, to do a unscripted um, obviously it's not vlogged or you can't see my face so kind of kind of a commentary on on you know what's going on in the anime world and not just you know just not just uh, the industry uh, you know just anything really whatever's like whatever is kind of like you know like popular at the moment you know not not the anime itself but just the topic that's really popular and so for this first um revival of derailed i do want to talk about something that happened over uh the president's day weekend which is katsukon 2016. now for those who don't know katsukon is an anime convention over in maryland i don't think i'll ever go i've never been and you know that's fine because there's so many conventions out here in the u.s that you know i don't think i'll ever 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 go to which i wish i could just to experience it but you know katsukon i don't think it's ever one that i'm gonna go to but there was an incident that happened and i'm not talking about the fire incident that a lot of people were talking about i'm talking about the aftermath of what happened after katsukon happened so on facebook there was pictures that came out and it basically showed the destructive nature of anime convention goers. And I'm not talking about everyone. I'm sure a lot of these people who did these were kids. Maybe, I mean, if you look at the damage, I don't, I kind of want to say they're not kids. So um, if you go down to the description, there's a link to this Facebook, uh, this Facebook post with the pictures. It seems like a lot of them were in the hotel because in one of the pictures, it shows um, the room. Uh, like the outside of a room and there is a ton of water coming out of it i'm like how do you even do that i mean i'm sh i, I want to say they're kids that don't know how to deal with a clogged toilet but that is just ridiculous and if you look in the back there's like water coming out of another room so i don't know if it like leaked over we don't know what happened in this room but that is absolutely disgusting and then there's another picture where the exit sign you know the little exit signs on top on the ceiling like it literally is hanging by the wires and i don't know if like some kids grabbed it and hung on to it and you know obviously it didn't hold their weight but it's like how how much like how much of like no respect do you have to do that to you know someone else's property you know and, and then there's there's other things too like there was a public bathroom that just said katsu katsukan 2016 graffitied all over the stalls and that is not cool at all and i think let me see i think there's another one the last one that was a kicker was somebody punched a hole in the door of one of the hotel rooms taped it up and wrote one punch men was here and i just it just if it irks me <laughs> quite a bit actually um I, when i grew when i was growing up my mom always taught me respect other people's property you know i know i know like property people kind of like say that oh you shouldn't care too much about property and blah 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 well people worked hard for these properties you know and i cannot imagine <laughs> what the uh, housekeeping will have to deal with you know people think about oh well the corporate people don't care you know they're making tons of money it's like yeah true but the people who has to clean up after your mess and has to fix that door and has to fix the wiring for that exit sign, they care, you know? Like, you expect to have respect for other people's property. And that was the one thing that irked me so much, so much, because respect for other people's property is such a big thing to me. And money can fix it. Money can definitely fix it. But, but it's it's that thing, you know, like you're staying over at somebody else's place. You're not gonna punch a hole in their in their door, you know, that's just, that's just not cool. But why I wanted to bring this up was because Anime Expo is coming up and I think that is the only convention I'm going to that and maybe Anime California, if it's still gonna happen, there wasn't any announcement for it. But I just wanna like let people know that you can't do this stuff. And with Anime Expo, with Anime Expo, they're doing this thing where, you know, people who are staying at a hotel needs to have a band, like a like an wristband, showing that they are staying in the hotel, that they are registered to stay there. That way people can't have big room parties or they can't have more than four people in a room because of incidents like this. And I don't know if these are like kids under 21 because to stay in a hotel, I believe you have to be 20. I don't, I don't, 
I want to say it's like a state by state basis, but usually you have to be 21 or 18 years old um, to rent the place or rent the room um, or you have your parents do it for you. So basically, if damage happens, you have to pay for it. And I want to say that these pay people's parents are paying for the damage, not the actual perpetrators themselves. And another thing too is just, you know, you, you gotta respect Katsukan. They are allowing this event to happen. And when you damage property, say like the convention center, I don't know if Katsukan is at a convention center or a hotel, but let's say it was at a convention center. Any damage um, done to the convention center goes out of Katsukan's wallet, basically. And if Katsukan has to pay for it, well, the next year, the prices are definitely going to go up because they're expecting that damage is going to happen based on the previous year. And when the price goes up, it gets more expensive and, well, not a lot of people can go and have fun. And then also things like what's happening at Anime Expo where they're really monitoring people who stay at the hotel happens. So you can't have, you know, people coming over. Like if you have friends who aren't staying at the hotel and you want them to hang out, well, you can't have that if they're really monitoring because incidents like this, the convention um, management are going to really crack down so they don't have to pay the extra damages that you guys are causing. I guess the main thing to take from this is just to respect the venue and the show management because there's so much money you guys have no i mean i work at a convention center so i know how much money is actually getting poured into renting out the venue and everything but you got to respect this because they are the show management they're putting on this this convention center for you guys and the hotels you know they're, they're doing all they can to make your experience like really great and when you start damaging property like that it's just it is very disrespectful so what is it that i want you to take away from this it's to respect other people's property that's all it is and look at katsukan and see what's going on because there's some serious backlash that's going on with the community a lot of convention goers are like oh we don't want to be like that that is disgusting that is rude and we don't want our prices to go up so so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed um, the video. If you did, if you like this kind of format, go ahead and let me know. I'd like to know if you guys like this kind of thing or not. I might, I'll stop it if you guys don't like it. Um, but leave a like if you did enjoy it. Um, subscribe to Spoiler Alert Podcast if you haven't yet. And I will see you all next time.